Welcome to the overview of Dominion Energy's Mount Storm Valley 500 kilovolt rebuild project. This proposed project will address aging electric transmission infrastructure. Three primary forces drive the need for new electric transmission infrastructure. Economic development, such as population growth or business expansion. Aging assets, such as old structures that need to be replaced. And complying with mandatory standards to ensure safety and reliability. These drivers often overlap in many projects. However, at Dominion Energy, we believe solutions should always take into account future energy needs while balancing cost and impacts. A strong, reliable electric grid is essential to deliver energy to all parts of Virginia effectively. The electric grid is made up of high voltage lines functioning as energy highways. These transmission lines transport energy over long distances from generating stations to substations, which feed distribution lines that energize homes and businesses. A compromised transmission line or structure can impact thousands of people who rely on readily available energy to power their lives. It is paramount that we keep the electric grid in sound working order. This project will rebuild an existing 500 kilovolt line running southeast from West Virginia's Grant, Hardy, and Pendleton counties into Virginia's Rockingham and Augusta counties. The 64-mile line connects our Mount Storm power station and Valley substation by crossing some of the most extreme, mountainous terrain found on our system, including the George Washington National Forest. The line plays an integral role in our 500 kilovolt loop, which serves as the backbone to our entire electric grid in Virginia. This critical loop acts as an energy superhighway of sorts by connecting several large power stations to lower voltage transmission lines, serving cities and other key load centers. This stretch of line has been in operation for over five decades and needs to be replaced to ensure the integrity of the electric grid. The line was originally built in 1965 with lattice structures made out of brown weathering steel, which gave the structures a rust-colored finish. Weathering steel is designed to create an iron oxide patina that is supposed to protect the steel so no other surface coating is required, thus reducing maintenance. However, the use of weathering steel was re-examined across the energy industry in the 1970s when problems arose in structural joints. The formation of patina was discovered to be creating excessive corrosion in these areas. As a result, weathering steel is no longer utilized for lattice structures. The structures found on this particular line have been well maintained over the years, but are nearing the end of their service life. The project will replace a total of 261 structures, including 135 structures in West Virginia and 125 structures in Virginia. The existing structures stand 103 feet tall on average in a right-of-way corridor ranging from 150 to 160 feet wide. Our plan is to rebuild the line in a manner that creates no new right-of-way keeps structures in the same general location as existing structures, provides long-term reliability and durability without excessive maintenance, and complies with mandatory standards to ensure safety and reliability. Several key factors were considered in evaluating potential replacement structure options. First and foremost, all options had to meet mandatory safety and reliability standards. However, given the remote, mountainous terrain involved, factors such as access, material size, and construction techniques required additional analysis and consideration. Following a thorough review, we concluded new galvanized steel lattice structures best satisfy our goal to deliver safe, reliable energy. The new structures will stand 118 feet tall on average, 
or about 15 feet taller on average than the existing structures. The proposed structures will resemble the existing structures, except the finish will be galvanized instead of brown weathering steel. The new galvanized steel lattice structures satisfy our project goals and can be built safely within the existing corridor without the need for additional right-of-way, a key factor to maintain the region's scenic beauty. To provide a representation of what the proposals could look like once complete, we are providing a number of photo simulations. This video demonstrates three vantage points. We begin our series of photo simulations in Augusta County, just southwest of the Rockingham County border. Here, we see existing brown weathering steel lattice structures when looking northeast up Centerville Road or State Route 699. Proposed galvanized steel lattice structures would stand 118 feet tall on average, or about 15 feet taller on average than the existing structures. Next, we travel north into Rockingham County, near the intersection of Autobine Road or State Route 257 and Silver Creek Road or State Route 752. Here we see existing brown, weathering steel lattice structures when looking southeast down Silver Creek Road or State Route 752. Proposed galvanized steel lattice structures will be installed in the same general location as existing structures. Our final stop takes us just southeast of the George Washington National Forest, near the intersection of Raleigh Pike or State Route 33 and Peak Mountain Road in Rockingham County. Here we see existing brown weathering steel lattice structures when looking east from Peak Mountain Road. Proposed galvanized steel lattice structures can be constructed safely in the existing right-of-way corridor and satisfy all our project goals. At Dominion Energy, we are guided every day by a core set of values to ensure projects are successful from start to finish. It is imperative that we work safely, execute our jobs ethically, strive for excellence, and employ strong teamwork with our colleagues and in the communities we proudly serve. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this important project. For more information, please visit our website at dominionenergy.com slash mountstormvalley or email us at powerline at dominionenergy.com.